uh, and speaking of new technology, um, we have another pr progressive web app for you. Uh, Adventure a Day is a social platform that combines, I would say, two of the most popular uh, social platforms out there, at least in 2018, Instagram and HQ, to create a timed, uh, real-time asynchronous game for friend groups who live all around the country. And without further ado, here's Adventure a Day. Hello, everyone. My name is Erica Weil, and these are my teammates, Jasmina Jacqueline and Catherine Chun. We all have ways of keeping in touch with friends and family in different area codes, but nothing quite replicates the adventure and spontaneity of living in the same place. That's what my team and I created Adventure a Day. Using this stack of innovative technologies you see on the screen, we've created a social media experience to bring the spark back to long distance friendships. In just one week, our fellow students, Koshin and Sierra, will be separated, and they want a way to keep in touch. That's why they've signed up for Adventure a Day, which sends them a new, shareable adventure every 24 hours. To do this, we have our game loop functionality set up on an interval. For each team with a current adventure, our server checks for challenges that have not been completed. It then sends an adventure to each user on the team and notifies this user of their adventure. We knew we needed a way to keep track of any number of users on any number of teams at any given point in the game loop. So we used a um, <laughs> we used a uh, <laughs> we used our database to um, to check all of these things through um, through middleware functions. Uh, especially one that checks if a user is a member of a certain team when querying or updating the database to keep the team's data private and to prevent other users from injecting unwanted data into that team's gallery or message board. Koshin and Sierra both sign up for the general mission and then Koshin sends Sierra a message to see how she's doing with her adventure. When a user navigates to, their te to a team's team home, data associated with that team is loaded. Part of that data fetch includes the team's chat messages. We use sockets to facilitate real-time communication between team members. For each team, the socket emits a room event, allowing users to communicate in their own secure chat room. Now let's see how users solve their daily adventures. When a user uploads a photo, it is sent to AWS and stored in an S3 bucket. We then send the S3 generated URL to Google Cloud Vision, which returns labels associated with the image, which we then compare to labels stored in our database. We decided to implement image verification through Google Cloud Vision in order to provide an added challenge for our users. On Team Home, users can view their team's adventures and solve their own individual adventure by clicking on the Upload Photo button. Users are then prompted to choose an existing photo from their photo from their camera reel, or they can take a picture. If the photo is not a match, it is added to their gallery as an unsuccessful attempt, and the user is prompted to try again. If it is a match, it is added to the gallery as a success, and that adventure is considered completed. When a user completes their adventure, their team members are informed via notification. Now here's Jasmina to talk about challenges that our group overcame during this project. Thank you, Catherine. One of the greatest challenges that we were faced with and overcame in developing our app was realizing the very high expectations that users have of social media. In order to answer this, we decided to integrate progressive web app technologies into our app. Chief among these expectations is that social media is meant to be re-engaging. In order to achieve this, we knew we couldn't rely solely on more traditional protocols such as HTTP and sockets. Instead, we had to branch out and explore the emerging web push API integrated through service workers so that we could send notifications and update app data as a background process, regardless of the app being physically open on the device. When a user visits our site, a service worker is installed in the browser, which in turn allows the user to opt in or out of push notifications. If a user opts in, a request is made to a third-party push server, which returns with a token that can be stored in our database and used to later contact and encrypt data sent to the user. We also utilize service workers to update app data as a background process so that they could later come to their, um, to their data without having to fetch meaningless updates. As we can see here, Sierra has just received an update 
or a notification saying that a new task, a new adventure is awaiting her at her site, thus bringing her back to her app, helping her keep active and engaged in her friendships. Over the past two and a half weeks together, Erica, Catherine, and myself are going to be missing each other a lot from our separate corners of the country and are greatly looking forward to keeping in touch at adventureaday.tech and hope you will too. Yeah, I, you know, I, um, I really like apps that actually kind of ask you to come back and there's actually a storyline that plays out over multiple days. Like I think as a, as a success for um, the application itself and also, you know, engagement for the users, it's pretty big. And I think I love that this is uh, an app that may actually convince people to get out of the home. Um, <laughs> unlike, know, unlike I, most I, other apps. Yeah. yeah. Sure. I, I, so, a lot of uh, some many applications i think lure users on the false promise of connecting them when really it's just creating new solitudes between them but i think adventure day is, does a great job of actually as you said get the users out and about but communicate you know forge novel experiences share them with your, your friends the you know actual foundations of building and maintaining friendships is right there within the app so i give them a lot of credit yeah, and i for like it. that the the kind of the, the technical thinking around preserving battery life and like not, <laughs> yeah. uh, I think you know mobile apps are especially um, sensitive to to that kind of uh, thinking, at least. Yeah, yeah. or lack thereof. Or lack thereof. Yeah.